so let us now learn about certain exception methods now we know what are the exception and in which class are these exceptions available and from where we can find the cause of the problem of these exception and who handles the information about these exception or errors so here we have certain methods which says that the first one where it says the get message it says that please provide us the information what kind of an exception has occurred then if you want to know what is the cause for this exception to occur then it should return in your throwable class that is in your throwable object the cause of an exception is always available in your throwable class next it says two string this is nothing but where did your exception occur in which class please provide the information about that class now if you would want to print what kind of an exception has occurred you want to print in your console so already we have spoke about these maintain these exceptions are nothing but maintain in a stack there is a stack which maintains the list of methods a method where the exception has occurred and the methods where who will handle these exception so all these information will be available in your stack trace if you want to fill a stack that is you want to copy from one to another or what if you want to display into your console or what kind of a methods are available which throws an exception so all each of these methods will help you to identify or find out about the exceptions in detail so going forward we'll use these kind of a methods to understand how do you work with your check and unchecked exceptions and what are the runtime exception and if there are certain exceptions which cannot be identified or if you want to define your own exception what are these type of exceptions